tell me what that means now? Good luck. Uh, good game. Well played. What the fuck? And then typoed barbecue. I was too excited, so I typoed <laughs> it. Uh, this time we're on the uh, WCS Ohana. Uh, do you know what they changed with the WCS version of this one? I have no idea, but Ohana is like my favorite match, and I was super sad. My favorite map, rather, and I was super sad to see it gone from the uh, map pool. So I'm really happy that we're playing on this right now. Uh, by the way, are you keeping tally of wins? Is it like three to one right now? I have no idea, but I think it's probably. I think it's three to one. Yeah. I think it's three to one. So it whatever be it's the best two. of. I think it's we'll we'll find out when we finish. So, um, in the bottom uh, right-hand corner, we have once again Macro, a good friend of mine who's been doing a bit of coaching for me these days. And in the top left, we have Nerith Collet. I'm not ready. Frustration. Uh, playing Protoss and has a name of barcode just to annoy me. You love your barcodes. I don't like my barcode. Um, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing? I, I, I did say have something, something right to then. add, and I've forgotten it. Oh yes, I remember. We haven't really been keeping count of matches. I think it's 3-1, but if we want, we can just have uh, chat basically vote on who they want to win on the last match. And then we will just fudge the numbers. And we'll make up a winner somewhere of whoever actually will win something, and they can win absolutely nothing, because I have nothing to give away right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, think we should, I think fudging the numbers is the way to go in terms of picking a winner. So uh, thoughts are from chat that um, the th that in the WCS version they added these lowered supply depots at the ramps. Um, although, uh, have you noticed in the most recent patch they've actually added some differences on a certain ladder map? Or I don't know if it's a ladder map or a custom one, but they've actually changed some things like uh, so I think Burrow costs less. Yeah, that's the uh, new patch stuff. Burrow is down to 50-50 in case you were a Zerg and you weren't getting Burrow because of the extra 50. It used to be 100-100. Uh, Oracle's movement speed is up to 4, up from like 3.3, with the intention being that they will be even harder to shut down because you can't actually chase them with air units anymore. Um, what else? Some other Zerg change that actually has people annoyed, I believe. Oh yes, yeah, Spore Crawlers are buffed to like plus the 15 damage by default plus 30 against biological so they become like uh, anti mutalisk miniguns so that you can't if you're a zerg and you fly over a spore crawler with muters your muters kind of like explode just one after the other like they all have charges inside them and they all just explode when they cross the invisible line um, they're trying to make I believe they're trying to make muter versus muter more interesting and make ground an actual viable thing to do against Muta, so that you can actually defend against Muta as Zerg. So we uh, had Frustration pop down a pylon to stop Macro from making his uh, second. It looks like he's going to go take the third instead. Nope, there's a probe there too. So he's going to deny that as long as he can. take care of it quite we quickly. Now have the second, uh, the natural coming down now. I suspect we just have a very dead probe. And shortly a very dead pylon. going to be no point in letting that uh, attempt to finish, so he's probably going to cancel that to get back the minerals. Yep. Meanwhile, not much to scout from uh, Protoss at the moment, just doing the The wall isn't wall complete, off. but a single ling is not going to get through it. Not with that cannon up, for sure. No. Oh no, the poor ling! So that was a wasted ling, right? Yep. If, the, if he loses his game now, we can point to that as the mistake that started the downhill slide to his loss. Your mistake was sending that one ling to try yeah. and go through the wall. That was a very critical ling, because that ling could have um, taken a watchtower. And, and that could have won the game if if Protoss had attempted to build a dark shrine next to a watchtower and there was a ling there, that would have been the information that wins him the game. But now he has to account for the possibility that Protoss is building a dark shrine next to a ling, next to a watchtower. <laughs> next to his watchtower, rather, because he has Protoss watchtower anyway. The day we see that will be the day the world burns. I will do that. I literally feel like doing that just to prove you wrong now. You just want to watch the world burn, don't you? <laughs> some people do. So it looks like I just got some more Overlord scouting from Macro up in the Protoss base. Got to be careful with this one though, because if uh, a single Stalker can get close to that, that's just going to get taken out so easily. I think we're about to see Protoss tech very shortly. You'll have to put down a tech building. Which reminds me, I should more have gas. my production yeah. tab open. 
Oh, the joys when you have to. Uh, There's absorb really your very own game. little in terms of uh, any tech going down from Zerg. He's got link speed coming, which is pretty standard, but he's really just droning super hard right now. Stalker just in range of that Overlord, but he's going to get that away nicely. He doesn't want to get supply cap right now while he's trying to drone up. That would be fairly devastating. Plus one weapons nearly is, you know, two thirds done. So he's getting early weapon upgrades. I quite like doing that. He's got a Stargate going down, so there you go. Um, I imagine it's about time for a... There it is, the Overlord Scout. So that Overlord Scout will see the Stargate if a Stalker or two does not deny it. Oops, I thought I turned off play camera view. Oh, this is going to be close. On. I have a feeling he's going to see that Stargate. Is he going to see it? He's definitely going to look for it. <laughs> Put up a bunch of Sees gateways gateway. and him <laughs> from the Stargate. <laughs> that sounds like a plan, good plan to me. Does he spot it? Yes, barely. Yep. He has barely spotted it. Is he going to go for the early spore call? Spore colonies this time. Crawlers. Sorry, we are not playing Brood War, are we? Brood. We're not playing Brood War, are we? God, I need a drink. Plus one armor coming now. <laughs> Stalker just decided to take, well. a, so take a shot at that. Robo Stargate, and Stargate, so we should see some fairly. Probably just Robo play with Stargates just to harass and give map vision. Was going straight for the Hydralis fairly early on this time. Yep, double Evo chamber, so we can see some serious ground army going on, I think. A lot of six gas right now, so we might see, uh... I don't know, we could see Infestors as well. we be very interested to see what he plans on complementing these Hydras with. I'm not entirely sure how gas-intensive, uh... Well, those burrowy makey unit things are. Infestors? No, the other ones. Ah, oh, Swarm Hosts. Those. All right. So we do now have spore crawlers coming up for macro. So he's going to be able to fend off any of the phoenixes. So phoenixes would just be doomed to go around and kill overlords because that's fun, right? Well, I mean, there's a lot of damage can be done. How many overlords are on the map? One, two, one. <laughs> one of them is already dead. Okay, yeah. So a couple hundred minerals of damage can be done. There's a couple of lings running in now, probably to, d to die this third. Well, down comes the uh, infester pit now. Infestation pit. Infester pit, whatever works. Well, I'm interested to see. I so imagine could be either Hydra Infester if he thinks it's going to be heavy, heavy air, or Hydras and... Uh, oh my god. What do I'd love Finish to see? Finish that sentence for me. Finish the sentence for me. Wait, what are you saying? What else comes out of an infestation pit? Oh, Swarm Host. Them. I would love to see a Swarm Host play by Macro. I haven't actually seen that in any of these games so far. Uh, but then again, like, has... Has it really been necessary? Do you feel it would have helped him out in any of the previous games so far? I'm not sure, but there's a Colossus down up already, so I think that he's a, he's like already going to be pretty happy against this build if it is indeed, uh, and it is because locusts are being uh, researched right now. So we're going to see Swarm Host Hydra, and it's... since Colossus are already like Colossus tech is already ready, as soon as he sees this coming, Colossus are going to start getting pumped. In fact, Colossus are already getting pumped. Well, if he doesn't get enough Colossus by the time there's enough Swarm Hosts out. Um, the Locust is just going to do so much damage because they can just spew out a lot. It takes quite a few Colossus to actually one-shot an entire row of uh, Locusts. Well, we'll look for Corona. There it is! Corona is starting to get spent on those Colossus. And the second one should come up right now. We do have six Locusts on their way now. It's very they can small actually get lifted up. I, I think they can get lifted up by Phoenixes, I'm not sure. Or are they considered massive? So. I believe they can. Um, ooh. But they're going to have to run all the way across the map off creep. It's going to take some time. There's no uh, Nidus network or anything to help him out. Well, he's definitely spotted them in this now. And they're actually turning around and dancing. Well, not actually dancing, but running in circles. I got excited there. I thought there was a new dance for him. But uh, we do <laughs> see a second Robo coming down now for frustration. So I think he's going to pump out a lot of Colossus out of that, I assume, to take care of them. I think if they had a dance, it would be kind of like Whack-A-Mole, where they little, like, locusts pop, and then they unpop over and over again on their backs, that's what a Locust dance, well, that's what a Swarm Host dance would look like. Uh, two two Colossus now, and the gateway wall is complete. Uh, if we get a warp in of some units, I think it should be okay against these Swarm Hosts, because they're not attacking quite as quickly as they might have. Uh, I'm looking for another Observer, though. He's probably going to need one. He's making a warp prism as well. got to be really careful with your Observer Second when they're going host. into Swarm Hosts. 
Yeah, if, especially if he has if he has vision, obviously. If he doesn't have vision, it's not really a problem at all. But uh, they will be trying to target that observer. If the observer goes down, then it becomes extremely difficult to deal with the swarm host. But with double robo, he is yeah he is making an observer right now. Uh, charge is nearly complete. So is another weapons upgrade and another armor upgrade. Actually, Protoss is going to be very strong for a little while, very shortly. Well, Colossus count already high at three, so all he needs is a few more to actually be able to counter this mini swarm host. Although now he's just maxed out quite a bit on those, so he's got four Colossus now, I believe. No, he's he's making another Colossus. Well, he now has uh, Macro now has ten swarm hosts rallying his Locust to the middle of the map just to do a bit of poking. It's actually really exciting to see that uh, there's finally some swarm host play going on from this player. But he sees those locusts because he's got uh, the watchtower, so he knows what he's dealing with now. He probably needs to start looking for a way to get around them. He's actually building up a wall at his potential fourth that the Zerg doesn't know about yet, because the Zerg could turn around and deny this fourth with those locusts, but if the, he doesn't realize that, then he's going to have to cross the very long distance into the main. Looks like frustration, not knowing what to do here. He keeps uh, moving his army backwards and forwards, not sure whether to actually start engaging these locusts or not. But I think he wants distance... to build up as many colossus as possible and just go steamroll them. If you can steamroll all the lo all the um, swarm hosts, you can. There is actually a swarm host sitting next to these locusts right now, quite naked and alone. Well, that, uh, that is trying to come down. I don't know what the trap is, but it feels like far too nice of a bait to just be there. Yeah, Dark Shrine's going down, so going we can tell. And already, and Psystorm as well. A lot of Templar tech going down right now. All I can think of that he's going to do with the Dark Shrine is either go straight for Archon, or he's going to go There's behind and There's a big attack going on in the main of the Zerg. Wow, I did not even see them come through. Oh, he that's already what, had that Prism up, so that's uh, bad on me for not watching. Going down now the for the engagement fifth. engagement is happening now. And the Zerg okay, we do have some Vipers as well. Those Vipers will be able to pull in those Colossus straight into the Hydras. Oh, and there goes two of them. Does he get them down? Yes! Three Colossus down, so that's going to really hurt uh, Frustration's army here. He's now going to do a bit of damage at the fourth. Try and break down that wall. Uh, some damage going down on the Locust, but they're free units. They're, it's not going to be anything... any loss there whatsoever. I think the space is going to be lost. There's not enough Colossus right now. He does have the High Templar to kill some Vipers though, which is nice, but uh... Even with the, um, Vipers dead... Well, they still have enough energy for Abduct, so even if these, they do engage with the Colossus, those Colossus can easily pop down. Oh, did nice feedback on a couple of them, but there's still enough energy there. Is there an Observer here? Yes, sir. Ooh. There is an Observer, because yeah, he's just not getting a lot of damage on the Swarm Host, except for the Nexus Cannon. I think he's have to deal with... Oh, there's a base down. Uh, Protoss is probably going to want to expand to the uh, far left as soon as possible because he needs to get those probes mining. We're seeing some transition into Spy now from Macro. Uh, so he's probably going to either go for some Corruptor or just some Mutalist to do a bit of harassment at the bases. Uh, nice harassment going on in the main for um, Frustration. Got some charge lots, a nice counter to the Hydralis, but there's just too many of them there. And there's D2s, there practically one-shotting Hydras. But Spy this has is actually got taken down! Oh. But the main army of Protoss right now is very small, and it's not going to be able to deal well with uh, as many storm hosts as we've seen. Having said that, if that army is forever caught running back and forth across the map, that's well, not really a problem. Now have overseas coming out for macro to uh, protect against those... There's actually no base okay. in the natural of the Zerg right now, so he can't... his mining is significantly shut down. So he's going to try and deny this uh, fourth on the uh, fifth on the right hand side of frustration now. Got a whole army of swarm hosts and hydralisks there as well, and with an overseer there, he's just going to be able to pop down those observers really quickly. Gets the engagement before the locust pop, but uh, it's, there's just not enough army there to deal with that. Although he does have uh, six colossus now, so he's going to be able to do a bit of damage to those locusts. More vipers are coming out though. Meanwhile we got the vipers. zerglings coming in trying to deny this expansion up here, but there's just now some I think he might attempt to, to shoot the uh, swarm hosts from the high ground, that would be an interesting move, but the swarm hosts are now retreating. This, if he runs in now, he could have a good... oh, too late. Do you know have gravity boosters coming down for... 
frustration, so he's going to be able to get those observers across the field nice uh, across the map nice and fast for these swarm hosts. Some more Dark Templar getting warped in as Coming well. Coming down to make an engagement. That warp prism is host. a dead man. Warp prism has died now to a spore crawler. Blink in to try and take down some of these swarm hosts. Uh, I think it's a little bit reckless here. I could easily take out this army, especially for those vipers. Do they have enough energy for abduct? They do. Not He's losing high though. Templar to Zerglings that he really doesn't want to lose. He should really swipe once with the cloth. Oh, and the high Templar lives with 10 hit points. This is truly turning out to be an amazing game. We've got uh, some Tempest. I forgot the name of them for a second. <laughs> Coming out. Uh, that'll be possibly good to be able to take down the Swarm Host from a distance. Exactly. If you need to get get shoot something from the... Uh... I mean, nothing can really stop them. Hydras just don't outrage Tempests. Got some Dark Templar and Zealots coming down into the 5th now. We're up to for frustration, trying to deal with that hatchery, and it looks like that hatchery's going to go down. So now one less base for the Zerg player. Protoss has a very nice core of Tier 3 units who really need some Tier 1 and maybe some units to work better. Um, that's what the Tempests are, some units to work better against what he's seeing. But uh, he really needs to just look for a good engagement right now because his actual... He's got a strong army. And his upgrades are Macro pretty damn good too. That. Macro now sees that uh, Frustration is coming down that right hand attack path. Protoss Hasn't quite seen three, that there's Tempest out yet. Upgrades. More DT warp -ins. Yeah, here they come now, trying to take it down that... And hatchery. they might do so as well. There's no detection there to stop them. Yep, that hatchery's gone. And now the Tempests start whittling away at Swarm Hosts. But the Vipers are going to pull them back into Hydras and they're just going to die instantly. Yeah, Tempests aren't really good when you manage to get them in the army like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, Some storms those down storms. on the Hydras, they're going to do quite a bit of damage. Even those on those Swarm Hosts. all very, very roasted, but there's no Gateway Army really in front of He's those lift uh, up Colossus these. anymore. He's but lift it doesn't up. matter, all the Hydras are dead. So all the Colossus follow. And there go all the Swarm Hosts, and, and that's yep, the end. That was it. GG, nice. we are now at 4-1 to Frustration.